Hey guys, I'd like to welcome you to a DroidRazor.com exclusive. Today we're going to be covering the Droid Razor Utility 1.2 created by Metal Groth. That can be found on DroidRazor.com and I'll leave the thread in the information to this video. Alright, so to get started off here, we are going to need to put the phone into AP Fast Boot. And we'll start that off by you're going to hold your power button and the volume down key. And you're just going to hold that until the screen flickers. And then you're going to press the volume keys, both of them, along with the power button. And that'll put you into AP Fast Boot. So on this boot mode selection screen, you're going to go down to AP Fast Boot using the volume down key. And then you're going to use the volume up key to select. But first, before you're doing all this, you're going to want to make sure your battery is charged. Of course, you can't help that if you're bricked, but a factory data cable found over on Team Black Hat is a very good thing to have, especially if you're into crack flashing, as they call it. Okay, so now that you have it to this part, you're going to plug in the USB to your computer, and this is for Windows. Not to be confused with the Mac version that they have. Okay. So, now that that is plugged in, and you have your utility open, you're going to press option 1. And today we're going to be covering options 1 and 2. And that's going to be to restore your Droid Razor to the kernel 748. And we're going to start off doing that first. So I'm going to push in 1, and then hit enter and enter again and it's going to start doing its thing so this usually takes about 8 to 12 minutes so i'm going to turn off the video and i will resume when it is done doing its thing all right guys so it just got done and take a look over at the phone Give this a few more seconds. There we go. All right, so while it unpackages, I'm going to shut down the video and I'll resume when it's done. All right, so it just got done. So it appears that I got boot looped. 
So I'm going to stop the video and fix this and then I will return and I'll go back after the video is done and show you guys how you can fix it. Alright guys, so if you didn't get boot looped, your phone would start right up and you'll be at this screen. And you're just going to choose the lander guy and set up your phone. I'll do that real fast and then once I get my email account set up, I'll resume. Alright, and you're going to choose next to back up or restore your backup from Google account. That usually takes a second or two. And from doing this, we're going to be on a fresh copy of 6.11.748, Gingerbread 2.3.5. And you can do your backup assistant if you want. You can choose your GPS. Finish the setup here. And we'll go into settings. And we're going to go down to about phone. And here you can see we are on 748, 2.3.5. And if you're wanting to root your phone, which is option number two in the Droid Razor utility, you're going to need to click on Applications, check the box Unknown Sources, and click on Development, and make sure the USB debugging has been checkmarked. And then from there, you can back out, and you're going to plug this back into your computer again. Once you get that plugged in, you're going to choose from your USB connection, you're going to choose PC charge only, or the charge only, I mean. So once you choose charge only, it's going to pop up the backup assistant thing. We are going to choose option number two, which is root your phone with Zerg Rush. And you press enter. And this is very fast, it only takes a few seconds. And we'll let this root our phone. So it's been done successfully, and it's going to reboot my phone. And you can just press any key to exit the utility bin. And we'll take a look at the phone. There we go. And now you're booted and rooted, and you can go right into settings, you can go down to about phone and click on system updates, and you'll be ready to receive your update to 173. Right there it is. Right. Hope you guys enjoyed this, found it useful. 
Thanks for tuning in to our DroidRazor.com exclusive. All right, guys, so if you're in a boot loop, you're going to hold the power button and the volume down key. And when the screen flickers, you're going to press all three of the buttons. That's power and both volume keys. That's going to be back in this. This is the same screen that you were on the very first time, but instead of choosing fast boot, you're going to choose recovery. Just going to press the volume key down once and then the volume key up once. And that should boot us into the Motorola Recovery. And on this next screen, you're just going to press both volume keys here to get past it. So you're just going to press both volume keys on this screen here. And that's going to give you this screen. Okay, so from here, you're going to choose Wipe Data, Factory Reset, and let that do its thing. Alright, and once you wipe data complete, you're going to go up and choose Wipe Catch. And that's going to format the catch. Alright, so now that that's done, you're just going to go and choose Reboot System. That should take care of that. felt it vibrate so it should be starting here into the initial setup and we'll let it go from there <laughs> 